Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to Callum's pediatrician. He has to get his next flu vaccination. So uh, Roman met us here uh, from work. Roman always comes to Callum's doctor's appointments. It's really sweet. Um, I love that about him. And the little one is sleeping. I'm hoping he wakes up in a good mood. Otherwise, it will be awful <laughs> because he's gonna get stuck in the leg. So, you will see. Hey, Papa Bear. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Look at your little boy. He slept well last night. He's all right. He's sleeping well now. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he has no idea what's about to happen. This world is just gonna turn really bad. What happens if you just give him the vaccination while he's asleep? It's not gonna happen because they're gonna weigh him first. They're gonna weigh him and measure the, him. Change the order, be flexible. <laughs> yeah, and he'll just, I wonder what would happen. I wonder if he would, if he's so in such a deep sleep that he wouldn't feel it. You know how he is. Yeah, that's wishful thinking. That's not how that works with Callum. He'll, he would just scream, and he'd probably be really mad that we woke him up for that. <laughs> Ooh, you look handsome. Hey, you only have pants that I left. Well. Because I was wearing jeans, and I realized, oh, damn. You realize how many pairs of pants you go through? I don't know anyone that goes through clothes like you. Well, first of all, you wash them pretty fast. It's not just me going through it. Well, I have to wash them quickly because you... I mean, if I, go, if I wear them two days, I can wear them for three days. Yeah, but you don't do that. Because they're always in the... Because they're always in the... Uh, well, because they look in the dirty. Wash. They look dirty. How can you You can't go to dirty? work looking dirty. Huh? So then don't blame it on me if... <laughs> well, when they're all wrinkly and they are all baggy and it's obvious they haven't been washed in a while. You can't have that. Homegirl. Homegirl. A.K.A. your wife. Mm. You got, I don't know what you've got on you now. What is it? You've got all kinds of stuff on you, honey. <laughs> shiz. <laughs> Whenever you make a sh, you sound like a sh sound, you always go shh. Like, that's what I do with him. Yeah, but it's such a deep. Like it's kind of shh. It's shh. Hell yeah. So he goes shiz. <laughs> Come. <laughs> He's kind of snoring too. He always snores. He is out, man. Maybe we could just prick him in the leg. When does he ever sleep that hard? <laughs> <laughs> For real. He, he never sleeps this hard. Like, wouldn't it be so easy if he just fell asleep like this at night? Your papa, you didn't expect that, did you? Dang, he is really. <laughs> oh, Callum. I hope he sleeps a lot after his flu shot. All these toys that other children have played with and put in their mouths.
Das Auto auf den Straßen, <lacht> die Godzilla, einfach durch die Stadt durch. <lacht> He smiled when you call him Godzilla. Das ist ein Krankenhaus. Also die Polizei, aber das ist nichts für dich. Das ist nichts für dich. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> oh, here comes another little kid, Callum. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Still got he's got a little diaper on. Callum. Yeah. We're leaving Callum's doctor and he was so good. I'm just so proud of Callum. He didn't even cry when he got his shot, which I was really surprised because he's cried every single time um, that he's gotten a vaccination before. And he was just a rock star. He's measuring longer. And he's about on average for weight. So, my long and thin boy. It was so funny because the doctor was talking to him. And um, the doctor was, you know, talking to him, talking to him. And Callum just looked at him and answered him. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. It's always a really good feeling when the doctor says that your baby is healthy. Like, that's a really good feeling as a mom. And I, I just feel really happy. Like, really happy that, I mean, I don't know, I just feel really glad that I was able to breastfeed Callum for as long as I have, and I mean, I know a lot of moms, you know, stop by choice, and they, they can do that, but I didn't want to stop, like, I don't want to stop anytime soon, so I just sort of feel really blessed that I've been able to breastfeed my son, and, um, you know, I feel really glad that I've been able to you know, provide really good nutrition for him. I just feel really good about that. And it just makes me feel really good when um, when the doctor says, you know, he's doing a really good job. He's exactly where he needs to be and he's healthy and he's fit. And um, I just feel really, really good. It's like a, whew, I feel like this is my job right now, you know, taking care of him and I love it, you know, don't get me wrong, but it can be really stressful when you want to make sure that your baby's eating you know, or all kinds of stuff. So I'm just really happy. I'm he just had his bath and here is his little toy corner, which is working out exactly as expected. He can knock all of his toys over, over in this corner. And luckily very few actually make it over here. Yeah, we bought this puzzle for you in Holland. You got the right idea, son. Mm, I don't think that's the right idea. Okay. What happens? Look, what happens if we turn it this way? Can you put it in? Help mommy. Help mommy. Yay! Good job! Yay, Callum! This toy has been with him since he was born. So this was... I actually bought this for two euros at um, one of the little... At a little flea market for baby stuff yeah. and it was great because when he was really little he would just lay underneath it and look and then as he kind of got older and graduated he would you know act actively start playing with it and then we bought this little this little jungle thing and it wasn't this was no longer as exciting to him because it didn't make noise but now that he's older he still likes playing with it he'll stand up on it he'll he still plays with it about this. Look, it's standing up. It's in my way. It's in my way, Mom. He's just in this destructive mode. See? No, careful, careful. Here. 
See? Feel right there. Yeah. You want to do that book? That's the German book. You want to read German tonight? <laughs> okay, well. Papa, I think he wants to read German tonight. Yeah. Mm hmm. Das ist die Maus und das ist die Gießkanne. Ist die Maus. Die hat einen Kinderwagen, so wie du. <lacht> Setzt sich einfach rein, mit zugedeckt und dann rumgefahren. Mhm. Einfach rumgefahren. Zieht sie ganz viele Sachen. Dann kommt die Ente vorbeigelaufen. Mhm. Mit der Gießkanne. Mhm. Roman, I love you too. I love you. You're, you're such a good dad. Do you know that? Yeah. You do? Am I? You're a great dad. Oh, that's a tractor. Oh, that's a pferd.